Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Hi! So in this video we're going to talk about how to speed up weight loss on your keto diet and it's going to be a fantastic video. We're going to give you fantastic data. I wish we would have had that when we started out. Exactly. It's gonna be very practical. Yes, and if you like this channel and the content that we're making, please make sure that you hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Exactly, and if you don't know us, my name is Ivat and he is Wins, and we do videos just like this one. And my wife here is a ketogenic lifestyle coach, and if you are having uh, trouble with your keto diet and uh, you don't get debugged with this video, then make sure you hit our website and book in a free case estimation. and. Let's see if we can help you. Exactly. To begin this video, we have to give you a little bit of theory because you need to understand what you are up against and what you need to change so you can get the best weight loss uh, result on keto. So what many people that are doing keto don't understand is your goal is not to be in ketosis. Ketosis actually doesn't equal fat loss or going down in weight. So what you need to go down in weight is you need to lower insulin in your body so the body regulates weight with hormones and there is a few fat storing hormones and there is a few fat burning hormones but to not make this a very long video it's enough that we just tell you that when insulin is present it turns off all the fat burning hormones so when insulin is present there is no fat burning so let's say that you have not eaten in a very long time but you have high insulin then you will be extremely hungry and starving even though your body has a lot of fat reserves because the fat hormones are not active and similarly even if you have eaten sort of a lot but insulin is very low then your body has a very easy time burning the fat and that's what you want your you want your body to burn up the fat that you have so the key data that you want is you want to keep your insulin very low so wouldn't it be very helpful to know what makes your insulin go high so that you can avoid those things and then you can lose weight. That's the simplicity. Yes. Here's the things that make your insulin go high. This is a bit of a reverse engineering of the keto diet. And our neighbor is of course cutting the grass when we're shooting this video. So basically insulin is your body's reaction to eating carbs. And whenever you eat carbs, insulin will go very high. Fat almost has no reaction to uh, insulin, meaning you will not get almost any insulin reaction. And to eating too much protein, it's not something that you should worry about, but you should know that if you're eating too much uh, protein, that can also create a very excessive uh, insulin reaction. That's why you wanna eat protein that is together with fat, because fat actually buffers uh, the, the insulin reaction. So now there is a few hidden things that also increase insulin that many people don't know about. So one of them is too much stress. So if you have this, it's also like a separate video, but you want to lower stress so you can eat all the right things and still have a lot of stress, have high insulin and not lose weight. Another thing is too much coffee. The good stuff is going to come on and I just want to rattle off some of the, the easy things. Too much coffee, it's different from person to person what kicks you out of ketosis, but I wouldn't recommend more than one to two cups of coffee per day because it acts as stress on the body and stress hires insulin. So now there is a very interesting one that you run into with your clients when they're not losing weight and that is... That is hidden carbs, like you can think that you are really not consuming any carbs and you are cutting down but there is things that has surprisingly high carbs or hidden carbs and it can stop all your weight loss. I see that the things you have to pay attention to is spices, especially if you use like spice mixes, like let's say it's an Italian spice mix or it's a Greek spice mix or something like this. Usually these things has added uh, artificial sweeteners. So I would watch out for that. Or if you are consuming, let's say a keto product, what is a keto meal replacement or uh, MTC oil powder or anything like this, sometimes the ingredient says that it's keto friendly, it's sweetened with erythritol. And when you read the label, every part of the label, then you see there is like one or two gram of sugar uh, per serving and that's just enough to take you out of this state of low insulin and that can just stop to burn fat and really lose the weight you want. 
Yeah, just from personal experience, if you eat something that says keto friendly and you're doing very good on the keto and you're not hungry and you can go a long time without eating and suddenly your hunger comes back, then there is something in that product that is not keto friendly and is messing with your insulin. So the best is eating whole foods and lots of veggies and meat that you cook at home. Not everybody can do it, but still that is the best. And next thing that is quite surprising, which also a lot of people have a very hard time understanding is every time you eat, you spike insulin. So even if you eat keto yeah. food, you're going to spike insulin because insulin is like part of your digestion. So anytime food goes into your stomach, you are going to get an insulin reaction. Yeah. Now we're going to be like a four year old logic. So honey, if <laughs> eating increases your insulin, no, you, you're going to be the four year old. So okay. then if you eat all the time, but it's keto, but you eat six meals a day, are you going to lose weight? No, I don't think so. Okay, so if you know this datum, that uh, eating raises the insulin, then what would you want to do with your eating? Too? I mean, I would want to see how I can not stimulate insulin at all. Good. So now we come to the last point of how you lower insulin, which is the most effective way of losing weight. And my wife thinks that... And I do think this is even more powerful tool than do keto itself. So I would say, even if someone like, okay, what should I do to lose weight? I would say, go with this one, even if you would eat crappier food and you follow this uh, tool, then you would get more benefit than just eating six meals the keto way. And this tool is intermittent fasting. So uh, maybe I've heard uh, this before, but it's actually a very, very powerful tool. And we see a lot of people trying to lose weight and they go on keto. And I would say that that's less than half the job that you need to do yeah, exactly. to, to have very effective weight loss. It's actually intermittent fasting. So yeah. how do you do intermittent fasting? I mean, there is different ways you can go about. Usually the first one you start with is three months a day. So if you are totally new to intermittent fasting, then you need to understand this is just a schedule of eating and not eating. And you start out with three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you're just really not snacking in between or after dinner. We really mean no snacking. Like you have had clients that say, no, we're not eating. And then when you pull the information and it comes up, oh yeah, I eat like a few nuts in between. But again, anytime you consume food, that triggers insulin, that breaks your fast, no matter what. Exactly, so three meals only. Yes. And then when you do good with that, usually I say to start with two meals a day, what is more like a lunch and dinner, or if you are all about breakfast, then breakfast and lunch or whatever works for your lifestyle. Honestly, the key point that you do eight hours of eating window, doesn't matter what schedule you follow. And then you make sure you fast for 16 to straight hours. And then if you are cool with that, I would go and even push your window together and go for six hour of eating window and 18 hour of fast. And if that works well, you feel good, but you still want to increase results, you want to speed up fat loss, then I would go for four hour of eating window and 20 hour of fast. And most of the people who want to get serious uh, weight loss or burn a lot of belly fat, this is really working well. Only four hours of eating window. Yeah, and this is not like, it's different for everybody. So I would say that you need to just lessen your eating window until you get the results that yeah. you want. But I mean, some people even lose a lot of weight with three meals a yeah, day. Exactly. Some people lose with two meals a day. And some people can have such stuck weight that they need like one meal every other day, which is quite extreme. But so I would just increase the fasting until you get the results that you want. Yeah. And how do you do that? Because I see mistakes, what people do, and basically they just crash and burn. And then they give up the fasting or keto lifestyle and go back to old habits and continue with eating carbs or starving themselves on a 500 calorie diet or something like this. So basically I have uh, five tips how you go about that. And one of them to make this easier is to boost your potassium intake. Potassium will be your number one, the God that will help you to transition faster 
and usually I say the best way to go is with vegetables and on the screen here I will put you a table with the most potassium rich foods for example uh, Brussels sprouts, avocados, salmon, beetroot, top the green part they are all very rich in potassium but all of those things on the screen would do the job and you should aim for about 4,000, 4,700 milligram a day and that will greatly help you to transition and not feel so much cravings. The next one is not overeating when you eat. I think you had that, that when you started out, you thought you're gonna starve because we took away all your food. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna eat one meal a day and this is the only time I'm going to eat for one day. So I was like, I'm just gonna eat until my belly pops. Yeah, and then you ate like, thousands of calories yeah. but that's just too much like eat so you feel well fed but you don't have to feel stopped so just have the food and if your body needs food it will burn your own reserves from the years of overeating so you don't have to worry about that the next one is um, building to this gradually i see this that i have some clients who start this lifestyle and then they are like right away when I go hardcore and on the second week I'm only gonna do one meal a day so from the sudden eating six or plus times a day now they suddenly quit and go one meal a day and trying to fast for 23 hours and that's just not a good idea that's the formula for failure it's really hard and it will make you to quit most of the times so usually what I say to follow this schedule, I said it's here on the screen again. Try to do three months a day, two months a day on different schedules until you get to the point that you see results are coming and that's your schedule. That's the right formula for you and that's what you should follow. But definitely a gradual build up. It's not gonna happen in the first week or month. It takes time, sometimes even like six months. So nothing to worry about. And then the next one I see helps a lot is sleep. A lot of people don't know that most of your fat burning actually happens in your sleep. So I would say you need like seven, eight hours good sleep during the night. And if you are tired during the day or you feel you need more sleep, I would definitely tell you to go on a nap. It will enhance fat burning, especially if you are starting out and you wanna get more results, then get that nap on the afternoon. The last thing, what is a really powerful tool and can help you a lot to improve your fat burning is high intensity interval training. And I would say do that in your fasting time, then you will even get more benefit than in your eating window. And that will absolutely increase your results if you do that like every other day, let's say like three times a week, that would be just perfect and that was our tips and if you have any other ideas or comments or questions put that below we're gonna answer everything and i hope you like this give us a thumbs up and see you in our next video